Hey guys, so we're back talking about the markets once again. There's so much action today, no? And as you seen, as you saw the previous video where I posted about the Mary Mart IPO, it's only the Mary Mart stock that's up for today, with majority of stocks in the market battered down, pushed down, and that's what we're gonna discuss for today. At the end. As you all know, we're going to talk about the charts. We're going to talk about the technicals. We're going to talk about was there any significant selling or a breaking down that happened that sh that's worthy of us looking that there might be a larger downside possible? Or is this just part of a normal correction to a, to a specific support level? That and more is what we will talk about in this video. So if you're new to this, my name is Marvin Germo. I'm a stock market trader and investor. This is our second video for the day. The first one was the Mary Mart IPO, which I posted more than an hour ago. So if you want to know more about the stock market, you want to know more about investing, you want to know more about trading, I'd like to invite you to this channel. Please subscribe and smash the bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about the markets. And I've been saying this all the time, but I know there's a lot of new people watching this. And the heart and the goal of why I create daily videos is that I just want to share what I know. I just want to share as, to as much people as possible that the stock market, though it may seem complicated to a large chunk of the population, is it's not something as hard as what most people think it is, but it's something that you need to take the time for you to be able to understand what it is and for you to be able to learn on how you can build the skills that's necessary for you to be able to make money on the markets. Now, let's start with the PSEI. The Philippine Stock Exchange Index, composition of 30 plus stocks, closed massively down today, 4.82%. Uh, Mary Mart was up 50 plus percent, but the market was down, the broad market. 30 plus stocks, Ali, AC, BDO, SM, SM Prime, Jollibee, URC, etc. were massive, was massively beaten down today. 4.82%. And as and like normal index fashion, a lot of volatility at the start of trading day. Then it moved up a bit, then it started to correct. Then the final few minutes, boom, large drop. Total value turnover, respectable, decent. It shows you that there's a lot of conviction in this move. 7.3 billion pesos for today's trade. Uh, that being said, all other sub indices were also down from the all shares, uh, finance, industrial, holdings, property, service, mining, and oil. They were all massively down. And as you all know, this has been the prevailing theme over the past few months. Foreigners still have been selling. Foreigners sold 1.18 worth uh, of pesos today. So sell down, foreigners selling. And it would be interesting to see you know, how the charts were responding to all of this. A uh, couple of things I'd like to note. No? Uh, it's not just Mary Mart that was up. FEU, the school for the day, was also up. Eagle Cement was also up 10.5 pesos per share, up 5.53%. But one thing that I'd like to note are three big companies that were down massively today. Cebu Pacific, back down to 44 pesos, down 20.2%. Then you have AEV, down 8.31%, down to 45.8 pesos per share. Then you have Robinson's Land, back to 18 pesos, down 8.07. From the ones that have a large impact on the index, Ali, back to 35.8. Please remember, a few weeks ago, Ali was at 38 pesos per share. Uh, it's down f around 4.8% today. BDO back below 100 pesos, close at 99. Emperador at 7.9 pesos per share. Jollibee at 144, slightly down 0.8%. SM Prime down massively, 7.82%. It's down to 30.65 pesos per share. SM down 3.79 at 915 pesos per share. ICT below 100 again at 99.6 pesos, pesos per share, PLDT at 1,220 pesos per share. So that being said, uh, I, I wanted to note also that as Mary Mart was up, uh, Double Dragon also was up, slightly up, 0.25% closing at 20.05 pesos per share. Now let's look at the charts. So please remember, you know, uh, we've said this in a lot of the videos that the stock market is not the economy, but the stock market is a representation 
of people's sentiments towards the economy. So it could be that if markets go down, it means that people are anticipating that the economy won't be so good for a specific period of time. Or if it goes up, people are more bullish. They're buying. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that if it's if the market is up, the economy is already good. It just means that people are forward looking that at some point in the future the economy will get better. And that makes it tricky, you know, because people anticipate in different timelines. People anticipate and buy things because they're expecting a recovery, say 2021. That's where they're buying for 2020. Some have longer time frames that uh, I'm okay buying it low now because I believe by 2022 it will recover. And that's when I see the stock price start to move up again. So when people were saying that the market moved up, to where it was a couple of days ago. Uh, please remember the the push up for the market. No, it hit as high as around, if I remember it properly, around six five eighty three six. Uh, tama around that around that level. No, it stayed above the six five level. Uh, in all of this context, but as it stayed above that level, people were saying, "Why is it up? The economy isn't as good. People have lost jobs. Things are not." as well as what a lot of people seem. So so again, markets being up does not mean the economy is up. It just means that mo it just means that if I if you watch the previous videos that I created, there was just optimism on the fact that GCQ started. That's why when GCQ started you saw the market start to move up into the tune of one, two, three, four, five consecutive large candles, allowing it to break past, let me encircle it so you see what I'm trying to say. This were, this is the five large bullish moves that I was saying. One, two, three, four, five. If you include this, it's six. But this lar five large moves, this five large candlestick moves over here, right here, specifically massively over here, was strong enough to break past the 100-day moving average. And for those who attended our stock smart sessions, we know how significant of our resistance is that. But here's what's so interesting today. When a moving average gets broken out to, it transitions from a resistance to a support. As you can see here, one evidence that it transitions as a support is it hit this intraday last Thursday, then it started to bounce, then boom, it closed relatively higher. Or, or when, yeah. What uh, Thursday since Friday was a holiday. I hope you guys had a good Independence Day holiday. But anyways, the next day, today, Monday, it tried to attack this support level once again. Open here, then boom, this support level got beaten, got broken down with a large amount of selling, causing the markets to close. 6163. Please remember also from a psychological standpoint, around this level, I'll put the line here so you, you can you can peg it. This level around 6,000 is a psychological price range for a lot of people. So let's see if the selling will continue, but we stay above the 6,000 level. Let's also see if the selling continues, and then I'll plot some resistance areas here. Previous resistance turned support 5949. Then around here, 5676. So possible retracement areas, should this selling continue, will be at the 5949 level and will be at the 5675 level should the selling progress. Please do note uh, that coincides where the 20 day moving average is, and that coincides where the 50 day moving average is as well. And that's what's amazing about technical analysis. You know, it allows you to find confirmations from different parts of the chart. That's why I keep telling people, especially those who have been to our sessions, that when you want confirmation, you don't get it from the news, you don't get it from your friends, you don't get it from social media. You let the chart confirm the chart because fundamentals will tell you growth valuations etc technicals will tell you what other people are thinking about the stock and if you're trying to analyze what other people are thinking the best way to do it is not to look at what your friend is doing the best way to do it is not to look at what other people are doing or look for whatever guides that are there everything you need to know is found in the charts everything you need to know is found in what the technicals are telling you and i want to run through the larger cap stocks now so if you look at ac 
here, you will see that it also had a large sell down. It's just that it's trying to hold the 200 day moving average. If you look at Ali, uh, Ali has a different proposition. It's looking at that there's an indecision today. So for those who are trying to watch out for Ali, better look at, hmm, will it stay above 35? Because if it stays above 35, then it has a shot to go back again, closer to 38 peso level. Now let's look at SM. SM, same thing, large red candle, but it's already below the 200-day moving average. For SM Prime, uh, boom, large red candle. Let me plot the moving average breakdown from 20. Below 100, the 100-day moving average already, uh, meaning more bearish undertones trying to stay above the 50-day moving average. But if you put this in whole context, uh, SM Prime is still below the 36 peso resistance level. Then lastly, I want to look at BDO. Uh, these are the five biggest stocks that have a large influence on the index. Allow me to zoom out so you see it also in the fullest extent of it. Boom, large indecision candle, bearish candle, possible support. You can peg it at 93, possible. Next one is around the 85 peso level. But that being said, you're seeing a large, broad majority of stocks in the index being sold down. And rightly so, no, it's... It's foreigner selling, it's institution selling, that as institutions sell, as institutions let go of their stocks, large amount of money sold at a large amount of time, large amount of stocks sold at a large amount of time, will bring and could bring markets lower. And that's what I've been saying this whole time also. If you look at the Philippine Stock Exchange Index, we really haven't broken past the 200-day moving average. And that's a really, really, really important uh, resistance level that we should watch out for. The fact that we are not breaking past that, it also shows that, hey, we are not yet out of the woods yet. But allow me to also project this. I'll connect this and this together. It's very, very important that somewhere around this level, either here or here, we bounce so that this particular counter trend that's being formed from this to this becomes valid because at the end of the day it's normal to see stocks that have upward progressions have retracements as long as when they hit those support levels they start to bounce back up so there uh i know i promised a video on dividends uh it's it was supposed to come out today no but two videos ne. I, I i'm trying to pace myself also i realize that if i make more than one video a day or before i've been making three or four videos uh it becomes a bit tiring and it's not sustainable so uh unless there's any breaking news in the next few days you can expect uh that video to come out either this week so i computed dividend yields and ranked them similar to what i did on the previous videos that where we talked about dividends but if you're a dividend investor uh that video is something i guess it's worth looking at for you it's something that uh, wherever you are, it's something that you should actually uh, try to spend the time to watch, especially if yields are very, very important for you. And please remember that for dividends, uh, it's it's predicated on income. Eh? So if income won't be so good or if they want to save up on cash, they might slash out the dividends. So I made a scenario what happens if they slash this amount of dividends for this year and how would it impact the stock and the yields that you would get. So, that's what you can expect also for the week. Then uh, if you missed out on some of the corporate executives that we've interviewed in the vlog, uh, two videos before this or three videos before this, we have Manny Panginan. Then last week, we had the CEO of Ayala, uh, Ayala Corporation, PG Lemkaupo, sharing his thoughts and insights. I really, I really think it's something that you, should, you guys should watch. Uh, I really believe that it's something that is beneficial and helpful to all of you. So there. Uh, Quick update, links are down below for Stock Smarts Manila. We have it on SMX Manila. Uh, it's happening this Saturday uh, under the new GC GCQ rules. Then we also have uh, all of the online courses. It's in the link below, Chinkitan. Um, Stock Market for Everyone and Make Money, Grow Money with Sean C. They're all in the description below. Then aside from that, we have books. My five books are now available in Shopee. Uh, links is, links are in the description below if you want to grab a copy. They can uh, the the order areas are where Shopee has coverage. So 
it will be sent there. So those are for the books, then for the online courses, and for Stock Smarts Manila. Then I have other links below for Patreon if you want to support me. Uh, it's there. Uh, the virus scan that I use, uh, VPNs, and all other links that uh, even the camera gears, the mics, a lot of people have, have been asking what I've been using. Uh, it's in the description below. So you can click them if you're interested about it. And then uh, that's it. Subscribe if you find value in this channel. Like uh, if this is something that also added value to you. And that's it for now. I hope that this is something that adds tremendous value to all of you. And I'll never stop making uh, videos like this. Comment if you have other stuff that you guys want to analyze. Comment also if you guys have questions. If, if either even comments as well that you want me to uh, talk about in the next set of videos. And there. So that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you.